Okay, YouTubers, I'm back here with another streetlight video here. So, I got one fixture hooked up, which is this one. And I have it connected to a power strip with some sort of emergency shutoff in case something goes boom. And not only that, but I have it hooked up to a circuit with the ground fault circuit interrupter. So, if something wonky is going on, it would hopefully trip the one. Circuit the ground fault circuit interrupter too for safety. I don't have the ground connected to the body of the fixture. I just have hot and neutral connected. But if there's AC leakage going on, I'm going to wave this around the body of the fixture. And if this starts to beat crazy, then we will know that the body of the fixture is live. So here we go. Hey. There we go. I'll just keep my eye out on this. And I'll probably speed the video up for you to watch it warm up. If not cut through the video. It's heating up pretty fast, actually. Maybe I won't have to cut through the video. So we got one working. Now a lot of people think that these are probably junk once they sit in the dirt, but these are actually pretty resilient. I don't know, I'm, ho I'm hoping this one will work. That bells don't sound pretty angry. Sounds pretty normal to me. I'm going to wave this around. See, the body of the fixture is not live, but if I... Yeah, that's not too hot. Now if I... As you can see, it's live there, so we don't have AC leakage on this. So this fixture is actually perfectly safe to use. So yeah, there's fixture number one powered up. So I'll probably get ready to do this one next. So turn it off for those of you that like to watch the fixtures cool down. I know it wasn't warmed up all the way, but I gotta move on to the next one. So here we go. Okay, this is fixture number two, the one with the ballast and pore shape. So here we go. Yeah, I don't think it's working. Yep, I think that ballast is dead, you guys. I have it turned on here, and my connections are good, so. We think we got a bad ballast here, unfortunately, so. I guess this one, will, I don't know, I guess this one will be, we'll be converting it over. Breaker's not tripping. Yep, it's not working. Poor fixture, but. At least it's cosmetically in great shape. So maybe I might take the guts out of like, I don't know. I think this one's the one in the most worst cosmetic shape. I take everything out of this body and migrate to this body to make one whole working fixture. Just the description here will be all messed up. Yeah, yeah it is what it is. Poor street light. I guess we're gonna have to test this one next. Okay, YouTubers, so I'm here with the third fixture now. Let's see if this one works. This one's 150 watt. Here we go. There we go. And it's not doing anything weird. Sounds quite normal to me, too. It doesn't sound pretty mad. So the bulb's also warming up. And of course... the body of the fixture there's no ground connected but I want to make sure there's no AC leakage going on and of course you're not going off here of course it's going off here because this is a hot wire so that fixture and this fixture the one being in the most worst cosmetic shape works while the one that's in the best cosmetic shape doesn't work so what I might do and this is, this is not right now, but in the future. I'm probably going to likely take the guts out of this fixture, because this one's the one in the most worst cosmetic shape. Take all the guts out of here, except the, ref the reflector piece here. And I'm going to migrate them all over to this one, using the existing socket in the reflector piece, because, it, because they're the same pieces. I just need a new ballast compartment. 
So I'm basically will be converting 100 watts to 150 watts on this fixture. It's just gonna be converting it over. But it does work. It sounds nice and happy like a normal old HPS tree light. So I'll probably turn it off here. I know it wasn't warmed up all the way, but I just wanted to know if these are working. So my next, my next experiment part of this video I wanna do I'm gonna bypass the ballast on that fixture because there's really nothing to lose at this point because it's dead. So I got some of these feed electric LED bulb knockoffs here. And I have a legit fit bulb here. This is a red one. Now, if you guys buy these bulbs at Walmart, shake the boxes when you buy them because I literally, I bought a red one of these, and luckily I was at self-checkout. And I noticed right away when I shut the box, I heard glass in the box, which, which the bulbs are shattered, unfortunately. But luckily, but luckily, as I was about to check, do his checkout, I noticed. And someone was there, and I reported it to them. Even though it's not like they're going to do any better, but some Walmart workers can be disgruntled. Even, even if you buy bulbs like this, which by the way, this is the second bulb I bought from Walmart with the stem broken off. Now, this one does still work. However, it's just a little bit loose. So, I don't know if I trust it long term. This one's in perfect shape, which... I've always wanted to see a street light with a green bulb in it. A true green bulb, not one of those incandescent ones, because those it's not really true green. Because the paint coating's all uneven, but we have this LED knock no not LED knockoff. Well actually it is a LED knockoff made by great value. That's an orange bulb. I want to compare this with that. I want to see how true the orange is and how close it is. Because maybe those of you that our industry lights may not want to consume too much power and have too much heat generated but you want to have that orange look as much as possible i want to see if this is spot on with this and of course i'm going to be using one of these adapters as i mentioned if you are looking to buy if you need one of these adapters and you need it you need to go somewhere locally to find it get this at home depot i believe they're like three or four bucks if you need it on the fly, go to Home Depot in the electrical department. They have so many of these there. So yeah, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna bypass the ballast and then we'll start off with the green bulb. Okay, YouTubers, so I have just successfully bypassed the ballast on this fixture here. And I stuck in that adapter like I told you, that's the adapter there inside of here. Now, the nice thing about those sockets, those ones are porcelain ones, unlike the ones you get from Amazon. They are made of, I don't know, fire retardant plastic, but nice thing about those sockets are you could stick a, I don't know, like a 500 watt incandescent bulb in one of these things and it wouldn't give it issues. But right now I have this 7.5 watt LED bulb, this Fiat electric knockoff LED bulb inside of this fixture. So here's the surgery I've done there. Hook the socket straight to the terminal block, bypassing all of these defective components. So I don't know, let's turn off the lights so you can be amazed to see a green street light. Cause I don't think, I don't think there's no such thing as green street lights, but then I wouldn't be surprised either in various parts of the world. So here we go, instant on. Yeah, that is a green street light you're looking at. And the nice thing about these bulbs too is they are clear. They're not crazy, crazy bright, but but they're party bulbs at the same time. But that reflector is basically putting off all this light and it's shining in all these sorts of directions. So, yeah. Got this green one. Let's do the the legit Fiat electric bulb next, the red one. And I'm gonna save the orange one for last because I'm gonna hook it up to this one. And I wanna see how it compares to this one when fully warmed up. 
Now, like I said, this one's going to be a lot brighter than that LED because that LED uses 7.5 watts. And you're comparing that to a 150 watt bulb. So here you go. These don't get, they get slightly warm, but not crazy warm. Put this right here for you guys. While I open up this box. Now these LED bulbs are so awesome. They really are because they're clear and it's like, it's the true color, including this red one. Now, of course you get always sticking your red CFL on one of these things, but it's, oh yeah, look at that. It's not as bright, but close the door so you could, red street light. <laughs> That is what that looks like. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just never had any street lights until I acquired these. Red is not too bright. Makes a good night light if you're very sensitive to bright lights at night. If you have a hard time sleeping with a bright light, this red one actually is perfect. Now, like I said, if you stick a blue, and I'm not going to stick blue or purple in there because that kind of resembles the LED street lights that a lot of lighting enthusiasts don't like, so... Sticking is not common bulbs in these. <laughs> Kinda, you know, not resemble the LED street light. You know, it does have an LED bulb in it. So if you guys have a bunch of these and you wanna put on a Christmas display, man, street lights will do a good job with that. Just put some, put it some green and red bulbs and various <laughs> street lights and you can have a nice show. So for this next one here, I'm going to test this out, but I'm going to wire that in parallel, too, just to compare it. Okay, YouTubers, so I got the orange LED bulb in this fixture. That uses 7.5 watts. And I have this 150 watt HPS bulb in this fixture. So, let's plug it in. They're both wired together, so... Now that one actually doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks like an HPS bulb when fully warmed up, but very dim. So this one is pretty good at resembling an HPS bulb. But let's we'll see how it compares when this is warmed up. So I'll, let, I'll stop the video here. I'll let this warm up for you. Okay, YouTubers, I believe this fixture's done warming up now. There is a noticeable difference, but what I noticed right away, and I don't think this door, I've never seen a bulb this bright. Well, at this very yellowish in color. It's usually more towards like this color, kind of midway between that and this. But that was actually really bright. But if you wanted to, let's say you wanted an HPS nightlight as a kid, but you don't want to be using 150 watt bulbs or 70 watt bulbs. This is a much better solution, and not only that, but it's safer, and it won't generate as much heat compared to this. Now, as I was in, as I let this warm up, I ran into the house real quick, and I, I have the legit Fiat orange bulb. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take out that Fiat electric knockoff great value bulb, and I'm gonna switch it out for this, and see how close it compares. Cause these are really popular these days. But if you want to save your, if you wanted to save yourself some money and get two instead of one for the same price, Walmart has your back. Just like I said, shake the box, make sure there's no red glass flowing around. Cause that has happened to me a couple times already at Walmart. Scruffled workers, man. That's you got even the LED tubes. Half of them are always busted in the aisles every time I look through the bulbs. Yeah, it's not a bad bulb. It's not a bad alternative if you really want that street light feel, <laughs> that street light vibe. But this was actually, like I said, this was actually really spot on. Generates some heat. Put that off to the side. This is actually quite warm. Is it Fiat bulb? Orange base.
Now this one is actually really intense orange. So this one looks more like an HPS while this one looks like an HPS bulb when it's warming up. This one's like a deep orange color. But yeah, that's what this one looks like. This one's more of a rich orange while this one's a more of a, a brighter orange. That's my opinions, but if thought you guys would want to hear, see the results here. I might make a separate video for those that are looking for this type of video. Stay tuned for more, you guys.